Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to my new Let's Play. And what the hell am I getting myself into? Let's play Advance Wars. Although this isn't a Fire Emblem game, this game will take just as long as one probably would. This is Advance Wars, another um, strategy, move your units around a grid type game like Fire Emblem. It's made by the same people, so yeah, another intelligence systems game. So yeah, Advance Wars, while not like Fire Emblem, it's pretty similar in that um, it's almost like a, um, you know, use your advantages to overcome your enemy and stuff like that. Basically, that's I guess that's how all real-time strategy games are, but yeah. So this is my uh, Let's Play of Advance Wars. Um, this is going to be... Quite a doozy of a let's play, I'll say. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take. It could take uh, anywhere from two to three to four months. I, don't, I really have no idea. And uh, I'm actually going to be balancing this project along with Yoshi's Island. And uh, how I'm going to be doing that, it's not going to be the case for these first few videos. But um, I'm going to be doing essentially... Uh, three days of uploads from Yoshi's Island, and then an update of uh, this game. And whenever I update this game, it's going to be multiple videos, so it's probably not just going to be one video per update. It really depends. What I think I'm going to do is, like, every chapter or every mission is going to be, like, one update. So, kind of like what I did with Fire Emblem. Anyways, as you can see, I'm doing the field training uh, part of this game. Uh, I don't think this part is actually necessary to uh, actually play through the game, but there is a good reason why I'm actually doing this, because if I just start the normal campaign, it will assume that I know everything about the game, and while I do, um, it's going to be hard for me to just like explain everything as soon as the project starts, and I'd rather, you know, go through this, so I can at least, you know, talk about different mechanics one by one. So this is going to be a lot easier for me in the long run. Um, as for the videos for this week, um, I'm going to probably talk about in the video description or in my main channel description about how these videos will work. So uh, feel free to check that out if you want to know how I'm going to be uploading these videos for this week, because it's going to be a lot different than my... Uh, three day Yoshi's Island, one day this game uh, update schedule. So uh, make sure you check that out. Um, there's probably not going to be very many Yoshi's Island videos this week, but that will definitely change next week. So, yeah, as you can see uh, in the first um, level of field training, you get to see all the basic, the basic movement mechanics uh, checking enemy moves uh, and checking their firing range. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to show how you can uh, use the R button to look at the intel for different units and uh, different terrain types. Um, I'll go over all this stuff eventually in a lot more detail as the project goes on. Um, I kind of want to just, you know, uh, get to a safe spot so I can just, like, actually watch what I'm doing instead of just, like, talking for the whole time. So, yeah, I'm just showing you the different menu options. You can turn the music on and off. You can save your game. And you can call your units, but now we're going to end turn. And meet my favorite guy of this entire game series, Olaf. Olaf is the man. Um, he's basically a stubborn oaf type of character who's always like... Um, well, in this game, he's like always trying to win, even though that he overlooks like his disadvantages. So, he's just kind of a cool character, and I also love his uh, character fame. Uh, we're going to be against him through the majority of this game, but um, I'm not really going to say any more about that because I don't want to spoil the whole storyline. But right now, 
Um, all we know about this game is that um, Olaf has been attacking the nation of Orange Star. Uh, he's the leader of the Blue Moon Army, and for well, just for some reason, he's attacking us. We don't know why. Again, that'll be explained later on in the story. So we're trying to repel his forces. Uh, the combat system in this game, it's... I don't want to say it's complex. Um, I'm sure I could probably explain it in a way where I could, you know, just like talk about the whole thing in one, one or two minute speech, but I'm really not going to do that. All I need to know about this uh, first level is just attack the enemies as Nell, who is the blonde hair lady who's kind of directing me and telling me what to do in this like tutorial mission. So I'm not going to go into very much detail. I'll let you kind of read that on your own. But uh, for this battle, we just want to attack them. And uh, as you can see, um, my first unit that I attacked with lost some uh, health points. So I'm probably not going to attack with him first. Because as a unit loses hit points, uh, the weaker they get. So that's just kind of, you know, just a random fact I felt like saying. So right here, uh, he has one unit versus our two units. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attack with my full health unit so I can do more damage. And then use my somewhat weaker unit to um, attack him a second time and do more damage than he would when he just attacked with the... Um, attacks the full health unit right off the bat. I know, it's going to be kind of confusing to explain all this stuff, because there's really so much about this game. There are so many different mechanics, and uh, I'm glad I'm at least doing field training, so you, can, you guys can at least um, read the information if I'm not making very much sense, because uh, uh, Nell does a pretty good job of explaining everything, I think, in this tutorial, so, yeah. But that was a pretty easy mission. All you had to do was just kill his two units. And, uh, well, we were able to get the uh, first attack advantage in, so that was no problem. And at the end of each mission or each battle, you get a ranking based on how well you did. Um, speed, obviously, the faster you finish, the higher your speed ranking is. Power is how many units you destroy of the enemy and how efficiently you destroy them. And then technique is... Uh, based on how many units you lose. The less units you lose, the better your technique score is. Okay, next we're going to talk about terrain. Uh, terrain is pretty simple. If you've played Fire Emblem or other games like this, it's really not that hard to explain. Basically, if you hide inside, if you move your units on like mountains or into forests, their defense will get hard, higher because they're either, you know, guarded by trees or like in a very tough position on the mountains so um, you're going to want to use these terrain advantages to your uh, own advantage so uh, as you can see there's one unit in the mountains that's kind of well not really in the mountains but surrounded by mountains so what we want to do is we want to surround that unit with our units and just like you know pick them off really easily this all this uh, scenario chapter also introduces a second unit um, I guess I should talk about the units. The infantry, they're just the standard, like, um, standard grunt type units where they're, um, you know, they have a very simple attack. But they're also used to capture cities, which we'll talk about later on. And the second unit, um, those bazooka guys, they're called mechs. Uh, mechs are a lot stronger than normal infantry. And they can also be used to uh, cripple tank units, which we'll also see later on as well. Um, so what we're going to do for this battle is, since he has two mechs, we're going to have to use the terrain to our own advantage to take out his own mechs. And that's how that'll go. But yeah, uh, mechs are pretty powerful compared to normal infantry, but they also have very low movement rate as well. Um, infantry can move three spaces, while um, mechs can only move two spaces. And then while I'm talking about movement, I should also mention that when you're going through forests and uh, mountains, uh, you uh, uh, lose one movement cost. So if like, um, if there's like a mountain right in front of you and then a plane's in front of that, uh, you can only move two spaces with an infantry because it takes two spaces to go over the mountain and then one to move that next space. So that's how that works. Okay, what's Olaf going to do? Unfortunately, Olaf is going to attack my uh, full, hate, full HP infantry, 
in the north there, but I can't really avoid that. I probably could have avoided it, but I wanted to destroy that infantry as soon as possible. Which isn't too much of a problem. He did a lot of damage, but um, I should still have the upper hand in terms of my numbers, so... He shouldn't be that difficult to deal with. But I am running low on time here, so I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be posted later today, so... Uh, see you guys then.